Okay, to get started, I just added a clip to my timeline, and I'd like to add a gaming subtitle to it. Let's begin by tapping the T key on your keyboard to select the text tool. Then click where you want to type your text in the preview and type it. Okay, before we style our text, be sure to select the selection tool, otherwise the next steps might not work for you. Now let's go over to effect controls, and under the graphic section, expand text. First, let's change the font to something a little nicer. I think the Mont one looks really good. And to resize it, just use this font size slider. To move your text, it's easiest to just drag it in the preview frame. Next, we'll click the stroke checkbox to give it a stroke so it's more readable. And I'll change the color to black so it stands out more. To increase the stroke size, just drag the strokes number to the right. I'll put mine around 10. You can also check the shadow box to give it a drop shadow, which looks nicer than just the stroke. And I like setting the shadow's opacity to 100 so it shows more. Okay, that's it for the simple stuff, so let's give this a little pop animation. First, make sure the text section is selected, it should be gray. And in your preview, you'll see this little circular anchor point. Drag the anchor point to the middle of the text so Premiere knows you want to pop your text in from its middle. Now, back in effect controls, position the playhead to where you want to start your animation. Then, find the scale property in the text section, and set it to zero. There's a scale in the other sections as well, so make sure you're using the text section one. Next, click the stopwatch to create a starting keyframe, and move the playhead about 5 to 10 frames forward depending on the frame rate of your footage. I'm using 60 FPS footage, so I'll move mine forward 10 frames using the right arrow key on my keyboard. Okay, now change the scale to 125, which will automatically create a second keyframe. Next, move the playhead 3 to 5 frames forward, and set the scale to 100 to create your third keyframe. Now when I play this back, I have a nice little pop effect. To quickly make additional subtitles, simply hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and drag it to the side to make a duplicate. Now you can edit the copy and have a unique second subtitle that even has the animation from the other one. Alright, moving on, let's talk about tracking an object with text, like keeping text above this runaway turkey. First, you'll want to move the playhead to where you want to start tracking your object, I'll just put mine at the very start. Then position your text above your subject. Now, over in Effect Controls, find the Position setting in the Text section. Click the stopwatch next to Position to create a starting keyframe. Then move the playhead to where you'll be finished tracking your subject by. In the preview, reposition your text back above your subject to create another keyframe. Okay, now when I play this back, my text does a better job of sticking with my subject, but there's still a lot of areas where it's not in the right spot. So we'll need to start scrubbing from the beginning of the track to find the first spot where it moves off the subject. And then reposition it in the preview to create an additional keyframe. Alright, then scrub to the next spot where it goes off the subject and move the text back over it to create another keyframe. From here, you just keep scrubbing and repositioning your text over your subject until your tracking looks good. I think that's it for this one, so when I play this back, my text stays over my turkey really well. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial, so as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.